Five views. Founder of Sahara Reporters News Media, Omoil Sawar took to his social media account few hours ago to recount what he did 28 years ago when he had the first opportunity to meet with the acclaimed winner of the June 12, 1993 presidential election, Masud Kashamawo Oluwale Abiola well known as MKO Abiola at his residence on August 29, 1993. Omul Sawar said he told MKO Abiola right at the meeting that his enemies were inside his living room pretending to be his supporters. According to Sawar, as a student leader he came along with other students to visit MKO Abiola as regard the annulled June 12 election but was surprised to see some politicians holding a strategy session to discourage MKO Abiola from challenging the then head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida and his military team for cancelling the June 12 election he described as the freest election held in Nigeria. Sawar said immediately MKO Abiola gave him opportunity to speak at the meeting, he then basted the politicians seated and told MKO Abiola his real enemies were there inside his living room, adding the enemies were just busy collecting money from MKO Abiola and doing nothing to fight for the restoration of his mandate. Sawar so added that late Chief Anthony and Ahoro were among the politicians at the meeting, stressing that Ahoro supported and agreed with his position and thereafter Anthony and Ahoro decided to leave the meeting. He said he came to the meeting in company of other students with Students' Union Government, SUG bus under the umbrella body of National Association of Nigerian Students, Nans and while leaving, MKO Abiola offered them 800,000 naira and he rejected the offer, saying, he told MKO Abiola that they were in his house to discuss Nigeria future and not for his money. Excerpts Reason I stood behind Chief MKO Abiola on this day in 1993. The real story, inside his expansive living room on Toyan Street in Ikecha, we were ushered into a gathering of politicians holding a strategy session to ask MKO Abiola to tone down his challenge against General Ibrahim Babangida and his military cohorts, after they annulled Nigeria's freest election held on June 12, 1993. I was obviously the poorest person in the room on that fateful day, I had on bathroom slippers. Picture shows MKO Abiola and close behind, Omoil Sawar in 1993. Photo source, Omoil Sawar. It was my first time meeting Chief Abiola in person but he recognized me and said oh student leader, welcome to our meeting what should we do now as my friends have annulled the people's mandate. I quickly took the opportunity to lend base the politicians seated. I told Chief Abiola his real enemies are right there in the room with him and that they just busy collecting his money but not fighting for the restoration of his mandate. Chief Abiola was uncomfortable and tried changing the topic by praising my organizing efforts in fighting for the restoration of his June 12 mandate. He quickly dragged a massive bag containing cash and proceeded to give our team an 800k saying it was a token for our transportation. I politely rejected the cash haul telling him, jocularly, that first we didn't come to visit him in a jumbo jet so the issue of a jumbo transportation fund won't arise. In fact I doubt that the SUG bus we took there was worth N300k in those days, I was firm in telling him our struggle wasn't for his sake and that our fight was not for him but the future of Nigeria. The National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, did not even believe in Babangida's transition program but our position regarding democratic rule though was sacrosanct hence our position on the criminal annulment of the June 12 elections. Having done my little damage to the greedy politicians in Abiola's living room, don't forget so many of them were clutching the cash halls collected from Abiola right there, our team decided to leave but something rare happened, Chief Anthony Inahoro who was also in attendance angrily got up and told Chief Abiola he too was leaving that he shared the position of the students, in a split second Abiola stood up and decided he would escort us to our bus, a decision that left his guests bewildered. When we got outside, Channel's TV owner, John Momo and one of his reporters, Kingsley Aranta were outside waiting for an interview. Abiola asked that I hang around and hear what he wants to say SND I said, that's good chief, if you're now ready to fight I will stand behind you. Kindly support our vision of building a community of one million pen soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. June 12, why I told MKO Abiola his enemies were within, inside his living room, Omoil Sawar August 29, 2021. Founder of Sahara Reporters News Media, Omoil Sawar took to his social media account few hours ago to recount what he, NDA attack, we only invited Commodore Kunle to get credible tips to fight terrorists, 
Nigeria military speaks after revelation that known Boko Haram sponsors are now in Aso Rock, August 29, 2021. Nigeria Defense Headquarters has said the intention of the Nation Intelligence Defense Agency to invite retired Navy Commodore Kunle Olani, Sir Victor Waifo's successes cut across many areas of life, including academic, administration, President Buhari August 29, 2021. President Muhammadu Buhari has mourned the death of Africa multi-talented music pace setter, Sir Victor Afosa Uwaifo who died yesterday, Africa music pace setter, Sir Victor Uwaifo goes to death at 80 August 28, 2021. First Africa musician to sell over 100,000 music records, Sir Victor Afosa Uwaifo has been confirmed dead. Peter Uwaifo, 1, Edo Nation, is Governor Abeski advocating self-rule August 28, 2021. Edo State Governor, Godwin Abeski is part of the activities to mark the creation of Edo State 30 years ago.